All right, let's start that over. Hello, everyone. Jackie Edwards here. Super excited to be joining you today. This is my normal live video time, um, and I'm trying something new today. So there are a few of you here on Instagram joining me. Hello to Instagram and my normal Facebook gang as well. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's give this a go. So what I wanted to talk about today is a really common mistake I see lots of people making in rent to rent. And honestly, it's not just in rent to rent, it is in um, property investing in general when people are getting started. I am in loads and loads of business groups and I see people making this mistake as well. And it's really around knowledge and education. So people I think are are just not getting not getting the right knowledge, not getting the right education and it's such a shame because there are so many ways that you can get knowledge and education in today's world. Um, like with the internet out there, everything is open to us. We've got like the world at our fingertips. Like if you think back to, I mean, it's not even that long ago. I guess I am getting older, but it's not that long ago when I was in school. I remember encyclopedias, like those proper paper, not even paperback, but like those big hardcover encyclopedia sets. That was where we got our knowledge from. So like when I needed to do a research project for, for school when I was younger, I had to bust out the encyclopedias and go to the school library and look up the information there. We don't need to do that now. We have got the world at our fingertips in the internet. And pretty much everything you need to know about business is there as well. So you do have to be careful about what sources you use and where you go for your information. So you do need to make sure that you are, are talking to the right people, that you are you know, getting your information from the right people. I see a lot of people jump into Facebook groups and I think Facebook groups can be awesome. There's loads of amazing information that you can get from Facebook groups, but there are also you know, there are also people that don't know and people that are getting started just like you so they don't know the answer. Or there's people that might do it differently than how you want to do it. They might have, you know, different goals. They might have different values. So if you just follow exactly what they say, then it might not be the right way of doing it. So you have to take the, the knowledge you get from especially those free Facebook groups with just a little bit of a grain of salt. But uh, they are totally great resources. There's loads and loads of really great information out there on most of them. And there are some really helpful people out there that if you post a question about your property investing um, or about your business, you should get a few helpful answers. Again, you have to weed through them and make sure they're the right answers, they're the right answers for you. And in things like taxes and legal work, you should always go back to a professional at the end of the day. But you can get a lot of information from those free groups. So there's no reason for you to start your business, start your rent-to-rent -rent business, start your property business without getting some knowledge. Then there are also amazing books out there. I mean, I've written a couple. Oops, just tipped it over. As you can see, so I've got a couple here on rent-to-rent. I have read loads and loads and loads of other books. I've read lots of property investing books. I have also read a ton of just general business books. Um, autobiographies by other people that have been in business are amazing. So there are a lot of opportunities out there for you right now. And I think books are a great way to get knowledge. They can be super quick oh, and audiobooks as well. Absolutely amazing. Oh, hi, Patrick on Instagram. Um, audiobooks are awesome. So if you have any kind of a commute that you do on a daily basis, um, whether it's commuting to work or um, right now we're in the process of building a farm. So, I mean, I've got a 15 minute drive to just get on site every once in a while. Even in just that 15 minutes, I can listen to some great information on a podcast or a good chunk of an, an audio book. And quick hint here, I listen to mine on double speed. It makes, it makes, yeah, it makes life um, super easy. You have to kind of test the speed that you can listen to them at, but those books go by super fast when you're listening to them in double speed. So anyways, that was my quick tip. So there are, um, you've got books, you've got the internet, you've got Facebook, you've got audiobooks. You also have loads of um, webinars. So there are loads of trainers out there in all different topics, whether, again, property, business, marketing, whatever you need to know, there are loads of trainers out there 
providing information and they are giving away loads of information for free. Again, you need to pick and choose and make sure you're picking the right person that has the same kind of values and goals for, for their business as you have for yours. But you can get so much information and value out there for free. I mean, check YouTube. I mean, I've got loads of videos. Other people have loads of videos out there that you can definitely learn from. So if you are getting started in your business and you are feeling alone, you shouldn't. There are enough places that you can go to connect with other people in your situation, people that have been there and done that, and people that have words of wisdom. There are books to connect to. There are training courses that you can join. There are um, networking groups that you can go to. There is no reason not to be educated in today's world. And we're always all going to make mistakes. So no matter how much education and how much practice you've had, we're all going to make mistakes at some point. I still make mistakes today in my business. It, it just happens. It's how we learn and it's how we grow. So mistakes are okay. But you can, you can avoid some of the simpler mistakes or make things easier for yourself if you kind of connect with the right people and the right knowledge. So you can learn from some of their mistakes and how they've set up their business to make things easier. We've all got different skill sets. So my skill set, my top skill set is really that I, um, I'm really good with systems and processes. So I'm really good at thinking through things and saying, this is the best way to do it. Let's make let's make this as easy as possible. That's what I'm really good at. And you know, there are people out there that are really great at talking to other people and negotiating with other people. Um, and there's really people that are really great at sales and marketing. So you need to figure out what is it that you're not good at? What is it that you need more information in? And find the people that can give you that kind of information so that you're learning a bit more about the stuff that you can't do as well, or you're learning a bit more about the stuff that's gonna move you forward to the next step. So that is what I really wanted to talk about today. I've, I've just been working with some people, not exactly my students, but I've just seen some people out there that have been really struggling and that jumped into a rent to rent basic, a rent to rent company basically that didn't do any research ahead of time. They didn't do any learning ahead of time. And I think they basically thought, oh, this is going to be a great get rich quick scheme. This is going to be a great scheme to just make a whole bunch of money. It'll be really easy to manage all these properties. And I've seen the lives of these kind of like 50 tenants and the landlords be in a really huge state of uncertainty as this new person has kind of come in and is basically jumping out within a very, very short amount of time and basically rocked everybody's world. Because when you're doing something like rent to rent and property investing, you've got people's lives in your hands. Like your tenants are relying on you for a safe, you know, comfortable home. That is where they live. They are relying on you for that. And you need to pr provide that. I feel very strongly that you have to take care of your tenants. And it's not just a big money making scheme. And it's not just a get rich quick scheme. You know, you can make a really good profit from it. But you also have to keep in mind that you are really impacting people's lives. So if you don't get the knowledge ahead of time, if you don't treat it seriously, and you don't really understand what you're doing, you can cause a whole lot of problems for other people, which is really unfair for them. So make sure that you're getting the education that you need. Make sure that if there's something you don't know, you've got a place to go to ask your questions and that you really think things through before you just completely jump in and, and start getting involved in people's lives in a way that is really, really important to them. So if you are looking for more training information, I have a new video series that's out right now. I think the first video just came out yesterday. Um, in Facebook, I will pop the link. Um, in Instagram, I'm sorry guys, this is the first time I have done Instagram. Um, oops. You will have to bear with me because I don't know how to write a comment on there and you're just up there somewhere. So you don't get to see what the link is, but you can find it on my website, on any of my pages. You'll find it all there. For those of you that are watching on YouTube later, you've got the link below. Anyways, you'll be able to find it. If you want to catch the video series, make sure you sign up now. Um, and you know I've got loads of material out there. And there are loads of other people that are really good at training and really good at sharing information. There are some that aren't so good, um, but it's important to find the person that you gel with and that you connect with the best um, to, to kind of work with and to learn from. And if you don't wanna pay for training, that's okay too. Just make sure you're getting your free information from 
reputable sources and you're not just listening to any old Joe on Facebook when he tells you an answer to your question, make sure that you've kind of have got the information you need from somebody that really knows what they're talking about. So that is all. Oh, I can see Patrick has asked a question on Instagram. Talk more about the contracts you sell. Are they uh, liable? Are they yeah for service accommodation? I assume, are they uh, appropriate for service accommodation? Yeah. So check them out on my website, renttorentacademy.co.uk. They are for educational purposes only. I am not a solicitor, but these are very much the same as the contracts that I use with my landlords. Um, they have notes throughout them. So there are notes in there that say, you know, if you're doing HMOs, you might want to word it like this. If you're doing service accommodation, you might want to think of X, Y, and Z. So there, there is notes in there for, for HMOs or for service accommodation. So you can use them for both. Um, yeah, so that's all good. All right, I am going to wrap it up there. I've got loads of deliveries coming in on the farm today. We are starting the cabin build um, at the end of this week. So I'm super excited about that. So I will see you all again next week. Make sure you check out my new video series. And thank you very much for joining me, especially those of you on Instagram for the first time. It was awesome. So all right, I will see you next week.